career in technical education is very high-tech, hands-on learning. You know, where the students are, you know, coming in, they are preparing, you know, to go straight to the careers in some of these areas, but all of the programs get the students ready for at least two years at the community college. Most of our programs help science, engineering, teacher academy. It takes four more years, you know, for some of those careers. And it gives students many opportunities um, to get some hands-on exposure, you know, to different things, and then hopefully decide what they really want to do. Student interest is the main thing that's going to drive the programs that they're interested in. We look at that. Um, we also look at the makeup of our communities and of our business and industry that's here and what their needs are. You know, um, healthcare is one that's very popular, of course, because the metro area um, is the hub for most of healthcare in Mississippi. Um, for our students and their interest, STEM is a real important interest to them. I do engineering and robotics and I've always, since I was little, I would always get in trouble because I would like take stuff apart and break it because I wouldn't know how to put it back together but I wanted to know like why it did what it did and when we came and toured in ninth grade they allow us a day to come over and check out all the programs and see like what we think we want to do. I had never considered engineering as a, a future career for me. I had never really known much about it. It's a very different environment than regular school because in like math, science, English, you have a set area that you are supposed to do well in. Whereas here, there's lots of little subsystems. You need to be able to do a little bit of all of it, but you can find your niche in, of what you're good at and pursue that. The program has a lot of hands-on. I mean, they're getting on the computer, they're learning computer-aided drafting and design, or CAD for short. Uh, and they like doing that and most ex excel in that. Uh, with the robotics aspect of the course, they are, are building robots and so they're getting to use their hands a lot and um, they're applying the physics without even realizing that, hey, this is physics. What I really enjoy about we, what we offer um, and, and what our school district does with the career academies and, and again with the career and technical education here is it gives students opportunities to, to get high school credits in, in areas that are gonna benefit them and help better prepare them for a career path. I have students now that are in college who are sending me messages saying that what they learned in Teacher Academy, they're now able to apply in the classes that they're taking. And when they go out to the schools in their college classes, they're using what they learned from our Teacher Academy program. We teach the basics of teaching what goes on behind the scenes, what, what a teacher does in everyday setting um, in a real world. We study uh, the human growth and development. We do classroom management. We talk about lesson planning and delivery. We talk about the assessment process in schools. Colleges are now looking at the program and offering scholarships for, for students who have completed the program. When I first started Teacher Academy, it was there were five in the state and now there are over 50 in Mississippi. In all of our programs, we are integrating national certification. For some programs such as health science, that's very important because if, say, Holmes Community College is only going to take 30 new nursing candidates and they need to decide where they're going to make the cut, it's certainly going to give our students a better chance when they can show I completed CTE, I had high CPAS scores, and I got this national certification test I passed. I've taken two years of polymer science, which is basically it's kind of a polymer class mixed with a chemistry class because we learn the same things in both of those classes. So I go to chemistry now and I'm all like, oh, I've done this. I know how to do this. And I, my highest grade right now is my chemistry grade because of MCTC. And I started coming here and I started focusing more and I started opening up to myself more, becoming who I am now because I was strictly focused on I'm going to Mississippi State. I'm doing a pre-vet program and I'm going to vet school and then I came and I was like this is something I love to do like I love working with the different formulas in chemistry because it's just it just comes to me naturally because I've learned so much and I've done it so much and I'm like oh this is it just comes naturally to me. A student can you know take a math class at their high school and you know they get that age-old question well, what do I need this for but now they can experience some of the courses here 
and it can go, uh, you know, really across the board. It, you know, you think automatically engineering and robotics, but it, it can apply in construction, it can apply in health sciences, uh, on down the line, the math component, and they can really see, hey, I do need this. I, I need this, and not only do I need it, but I need it in an area that is a career path for me. We're very blessed and happy that we put a lot of kids straight to work. I have two students working at Firestone right now. I have a student that is working for a car wholesaler. I have an ex-student that has went on to work at BMW. We have one at Porsche, we had one at Watson Ford, and we had one at Chevrolet. So a lot of these kids are able to transition straight through out of a good program. I just think a lot of counselors and a lot of people need to get more in touch with the career and tech schools and come to these programs and see what they're about and watch what takes place and look at the technology levels because it's way higher than you think. That's why we don't call it Votech anymore, we call it high tech.